Finally, we've bred the tiger girls that we want. Come on, that's not on Xbox. Get out. I want to show you these guys. Come on. How'd you get? How'd you get? Come on. Boop. All right, all right. Let's have a bit of a look here. We have finally bred one. After all this time, we might have two. I'm not really sure. Here it is. It's a black tiger grizzle. This is exactly what we wanted before. We bred one that was very white first round, which turned out to be a blue grizzle, which is not what we want. Now we have a black tiger grizzle. This one here is most likely going to be completely black. Let's get him out and have a better look. Very hard to get a really good grasp for at the moment. You see this one's got a little bit of white on the back there and the feathers don't really have too much in the way of white on it, but you can see this one, it's got all those little white flecks on it that will molt out to be quite a beautiful looking tiger as you can see all over. This one's totally different than these ones down here. So this one's pretty much gonna be black with a little bit of white on it maybe. And then we've got this guy, it's gonna be a really nice black tiger grizzle so pretty excited to see how that guy turns out who knows this one still might mold out to be a tiger grizzle but a very dark one but at this point it um definitely looks like black you can see it's gonna be quite a nice black too i'm gonna be very impressed with this one this one could be a new sort of the black base in some of our foundations i think especially if our tiger grizzle one of those tiger grizzles got, is carrying that spread black looks nice spread black we're gonna have to keep that we might be able to breed um, a lot more blacks. We're going to get a lot more blacks, I think, by the look at that. Let's have a quick look up here. You'll notice that big Leo, his egg is gone. I've taken the eggs out. I'm fostering them. So basically, this last round are all going to be lots different types of mix and matches. So we're going to do a couple of rounds out of this guy without big Leo actually having to raise those babies so we can keep swapping him around. So all he's got to do is fertilize the eggs. So what I've done, I've taken the eggs out of that and I've put them down in here and you'll see on there, Leo. So I put it Leo on both those eggs and his daughter's actually, well, that's not his daughter, but his daughter's paired up to this one, the raising them. I've got rid of those eggs, put those eggs in here. Um, I want to breed as many as I possibly can. So I'm going to foster her eggs as well. She um, got another round down before I basically wean out this baby. So I'm going to foster this one out in the next couple of videos. Super feisty little guy. So we'll probably have another two of these guys, but we will foster them out under somewhere else. She's going to lay hopefully another egg tonight. So put that one back under there. Look how aggressive he is protecting his mum. Oh, that's unreal. You are crazy. I like it. I like these little feisty ones. He's only a little squeaker. He's um, not far off weaning either. I like it. Need to breed some more of that. We're going to swap this hen around. This hen's going to go with Leo. Can you just quit it, buddy? Gosh, you're an aggressive little thing. So I'm going to pair her up with Leo as well. Um, and also pair her up with the red Vanderbilt cock that I've got. I'm trying to... There's only a couple pairs that I want to mix around. But, um, yeah... This is just hilarious. So we'll leave you guys alone. Basically, what I'm doing... Oh, yes, please. Is that Storm? Oh, she's on the nest. Yes. So basically, all I'm doing is I'm picking out the pairs that I really like. So obviously, Storm, we're going to foster out her eggs as well for a couple of rounds because she's going to get swapped around a few cockbirds as well. I want to put her with um, Shock, and I also probably want to put her with the red cockbird as well. So we're doing a lot of shuffling. So I've only really picked a few pairs that I like, so she might lay tonight. I'm going to take those eggs out. These ones are fostering. This pair here, I'm going to show you these babies as well because they're actually um, really feisty little bulks as well. So looking pretty good. Looks like I've got a blue bar. And this one might be the first mealy from this pair, so that's actually really cool. We have not bred a mealy from this cockbird before. Let's get a better look at him. Look at this guy. Super. He's got all that pink mineral powder all over his beak like a messy little baby. You are a pretty cool little fella. So yeah, this pair here, breeding some really good babies. So we're gonna foster out another round or two out of them. Let's skip big shock there for a second. Titan, I just don't know, he hasn't been doing us too well lately. So we may consider using him as a foster as well. I'm gonna foster a lot. I'm, I'm really trying this out for next season. So we'll probably have this pair, uh, this pair fostering, and then the rest are all gonna be sort of mixing and matching. I'm gonna foster some tiger grizzles as well. I'm really going to bump up the tiger grizzle flock. I'm going to try and get like 10 or so at least in our race team next season, but we are going to split this pair up. Yeah, I have a plan. Just stay tuned. This last few rounds are going to be the very best. And then we've got this big guy. So this big guy, the last round that he's going to be raising up himself, every other one after this, they're going to be fostered out. As, so we're going to do quite a few more rounds. We're going to mix him with a few different hens. But what we're going to do is going to give this guy a little bit of a break. And all he's got to do is make sure those eggs are fertile. Because he is a good dad, but you just need to make sure that your eggs are coming. They're going to be fertile. OK, 
Okay, so we're gonna, I want to pair him up with Storm at some point soon. And probably just Storm. I think Storm's probably the only one you need to go with. What are you looking at? All right, I'll put you back. I'm sorry. But everyone's excited. People want to see you with Storm as well. So we'll do a lot of chopping and changing. So the only hard work that's going to happen really is with the fostering pairs. They're going to foster. So all the hens are going to do is lay the eggs and then, can you please lay? And then all the cockbirds are going to do is make sure those eggs are fertile so we can do a lot of chopping and changing. Um, we've got a lot of beautiful birds in here, but basically my key birds are Leon Storm, Shock, this red one, then this hen, and then the rest are sort of just a mix and a match. The tiger grizzles are more color projects. We will split them up. I do want to pair this hen here. I want to pair her up with Leo, which is this big cockbird up here, as well at some point in the next couple of rounds as well. That, that will make a fantastic pair as well. So oh, it's just crazy. I mean, Let's have a quick look out here, what's going on. So I'm assuming that this hen here, she's going to lay her egg tonight. She has been hovering around there, so it'll be either tonight or tomorrow night. Just depends on uh, how her cycle's going. You should be able to tell... Yeah, she's definitely puffed up in the lower section there where she's not producing that egg. So hopefully we do get her to pump out a little egg in there for us. She's going to become a foster one. So I'm thinking that when Storm lays her egg, they might be cycled up. So these pair here will raise Storm's first round of eggs. That's what I'm hoping. Hoping that works that way so that we can really pump out some um, super quality over there. So what I've been doing is I've been prepping. I've got a whole bunch more of these. I brought 10 more of these today. I am using these guys somewhere else. So I will show you later on. Keeping a bit of a secret at the moment. And pink mineral powder, putting heaps of that in there for those hens. And the cockbirds, keep them in the mood. And also going to start adding liquid calcium inside the breeding ones. So basically, uh, there's no real hassle with the hens. This has got all the goodness in it. And then basically liquid calcium, if they need extra calcium to lay eggs, which they shouldn't, um, should be pretty straightforward for them because we are feeding them pretty good diet of this and also stocked up on a super super seed which is my safflower as well so i'm going to feed the hens a little bit heavier in that um, really saturated oily type stuff which is going to produce some pretty good eggs because we're going to get some um, mainly pigeon farmers about to start we're going to start breeding a few and hopefully we can really top up our loft and we've got our little whites up here as well that's what the noise is the little whites are squeaking away sitting up in their little spot look at them come on doing really well hopefully we can bring them over soon Let's quickly poke our head in here because I've got a few things to show you as well. Come on, you guys. Come on. Settle down, settle down. So in here, we've got potentially three pairs. This cockbird is paired up to that hen. So there's a pair. I'm hoping we can use them for fostering. Zoom in, have a bit of a look here. They had definitely been mating and carry on, all that kind of stuff. We don't have many hens, surprisingly. We're just loaded with cockbirds in here. It's unreal, actually. And he may be paired up with her, actually. And we've got our little barless hen. This is one where she's ready to breed as well. So she may be paired up. Yes, Beefcake, we still haven't hit a thousand likes on that video yet. So you might not get to breed. Mm, good pair though. Anyway, all I'm thinking about doing is setting up a couple of um, nest boxes. Probably bowls on this other side here. In here, we're not really using this section at the moment. I was thinking about a motivation section, but I don't really want that motivation. You can always change it later. I do have like a little shelf that's got three sections in it, which we've got three pairs here. If we do get 1,000 likes on the other video, then maybe these guys can come into here with the other two pairs and fill all three of those boxes. Do you want to redo those? I've got plenty of wood to yeah, try and make a whole big one like we have down there because we need to get the breeding done. Look at all these free perches down here. All oh, free, free. We've got a few birds out there. There's still a lot of free perches in here. We need to get our breeding done so we can concentrate on flying, getting these guys all dialed in. 